I often have women ask me what I do as a morning ritual to start my day off to be a magical manifester. So I'm going to share that with you today. And as this intro plays, why don't you write down in the comments what your morning ritual is right now? Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back, y'all. I am Debbie Dobbins and I am the queen of magic. Why? Because I teach women how to create a magical life, literally a fairy tale life. And if you think that's not possible, turn this video off because I know that it is possible. And if you believe, just as Walt Disney says, if you believe, you can create. So I want to share with you my morning ritual of a magical manifester because at this juncture, you may have watched some videos and you hear some of the tips on things that you might want to incorporate into your daily activity, but your day, the beginning of your day is absolutely the most critical part of your whole day because it sets the tone for your day. Even if you're a nighttime person as opposed to a morning person, which I am, I've met many, many, many people in my life that are nighttime people or morning people, but starting your day, no matter what, even if you stay up late at night and you get up at 10 or 12, 10 in the morning or 12 in the afternoon, it doesn't make any difference. You wanna start your day with a magical routine. So. The very first thing that you do before you even get out of bed, when your eyes begin to flutter open, think of something magical and positive. That's the very first thing that you have to do because so many times we programmed ourselves to think about everything that's about to happen. And the first thing that you want to begin to do is change that habit. It takes a little bit of conscious effort to begin to change that if you're used to leaping into your life. Because if you are one of those people that you wake up and your cell phone's right here, and the first thing you do is look at your cell phone, that's, put that one aside. If you are one of those people that you get up and go pee right away, right? I mean, I know that that's, that's one of the things that a lot of us do. You get that done, but while you're walking from your bed to, to the restroom, what is the most magical thought that you can think? I'm alive. I'm happy. I'm creating. I'm positive. I'm amazing. I'm miraculous. All of those things are the way you want to set your tone immediately for the day. That's your first thought. And as you progress and you haven't been using that technique for your whole life, it may be a little challenging and you may not get it right every day. But here's the thing is what I want you to do is just practice, practice, practice. That's all this is about. That very first thing that you do in the morning is have that first magical thought. And that magical thought will lead to another magical thought. And this is, as I said, it's so important to begin your day with a magical thought. And what is a magical thought? A magical thought is knowing and believing in your deepest recesses of your heart that you can create whatever you want. So a magical thought is, what's my day going to look like? Who am I going to run into that's going to help my magical life? What kind of experience is the universe going to bring to me today that's absolutely magical? Right? It's always about setting that intention and then expecting whatever that intention is. Because if we don't go out with an expectation, then we're not believing it. So the very first thing is, the very first thing, as soon as you open your eyes, you feel yourself coming awake, I'm having a magical thought. The next thing, if you had to go to the restroom, come back to your bed. Come back to your bed. Lay back down while you're still in that little bit of REM because you're, you're in an alpha state. You're in a mind state that's going to allow you to impress upon that mind of yours what it is that you truly desire. Once we get out of alpha and into beta, then we're not in that receptivity mode anymore. So I want you to take this moment in time when you first wake up to just be in that stillness of that alpha state and begin to just for five minutes. That's all this is for five minutes. I want you to imagine that you are living the life that is the life of your dreams. 
whatever that looks like. But imagine as if it's happening right here, right now for five minutes. If you have to set an alarm. And so it's going to look something like this. I'm imagining that I'm waking up in this life that is so incredible and so magical. And as my feet hit the floor, I'm so excited to greet the day in this place that I live and then begin to imagine what that place looks like, right? What is the window that you see in your bedroom of this life looking out over? What do you smell? What is the weather like? Who's in your life? And so I want you to begin to create this scene in your mind for five minutes before you ever get out of bed. It's five minutes each and every day that will build the momentum to begin to create that magical vortex, that power of attraction, that life that you say you want, because we are going to be living it in that moment, in those five minutes. And then as you get up and your eyes begin to wake, and you begin to move about your day. What do you do? Do you jump on the computer? Do you jump on your emails? Do you jump on your um, Facebook? Do you check your phone? Begin to look at how you can pattern interrupt what you currently do. Now, I'm not asking you to completely change your life. This is a very simple morning routine that starts with a magical thought and then five minutes of visioning, immersing yourself in your magical life. And then if you can, at this juncture, because you will be able to build on this, but if at this juncture you feel like you can interrupt the pattern of whatever that you do now, do that. Let's say that your first thing is a cup of coffee and Facebook. Maybe you have a cup of tea and you go sit down on the patio. Because we're going to talk about meditation, the various types of meditations that you can begin to incorporate in all of this. But here is what I want you to begin to do is say out loud, as part of this morning routine, as you're going through your routine, I am looking for the magical signs. Every single moment of every single day, I'm looking for the magical signs. Because what happens is, and I've done a video on reticular activation, if you're looking for no signs, or you're looking for the same thing that you saw yesterday, you will see that. But if you are now going to tell your mind, I am seeing magical signs everywhere I look. They're going to show up in ways that you cannot imagine. So I'm so excited to hear what you might see. If you'd like to get one of my magical downloads, then click on the link in the body of this video and you will find some more magic secrets to start your day with, to end your day with, and to be so, so magical all of the time. And as I always say, you always come back now. Bye.